Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to look forward to regarding tomorrow the 19th of December 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. Starting with national news with regards to Namdi Kano's case, Ibos have accepted Tinumbu as president, says Ohanese. Federal government inaugurates board and management team of NNPCL. Rerun polls for state and federal constituencies may hold February, says INEC. Appeal court dismisses Binani's appeal and affirms Finitri as Adamawa's governor. Rivers elders reject order barring INEC from conducting by-elections. I will not discriminate against anyone based on religion and ethnicity, says Ubasani. In same scenes, Women Affairs Minister condemns domestic abuse by a Kwaibom lawyer. Inflation is likely to drop, while Naira appreciates in 2024, says Rewani. Jam to increase registration fees as from 2024. Police arrest a Kwaibom based lawyer caught on video for brutalizing wife. One feared dead as fire got Alao Akala's house. On to business news. Brazil displaces Nigeria on interest in Bitcoin as Nigeria populace shifts to USDT. Pencom introduces performance measurement benchmarks for PFAs and CPFAs. In tech news, TikTok removes 1.4 million videos by Nigerian users in the third quarter of 2023. Moving to international news, World Health Organization approves Nigeria's request to officially recognize Noma as neglected tropical disease. Egypt's president, Sisi, has been re-elected with 89.6% of votes. Finally, in sport news regarding the UEFA Champions League, Osimhen's Napoli to face Barcelona as Arsenal draw Porto in the round of 16. Motiba is in injury scare that could rule him out of AFCON. Get details of these news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from a newsstand closest to you. Don't forget to follow us at Guardian Nigeria on all our social media platforms. I'm Ifunaya Wachiko for Guardian TV.